In this example, we're asked to write a program that calculates and prints the number of minutes in a year. Now, there's many ways that we can go about this. Um, I'll show you two of those ways that we can do this. Um, but essentially, it, it's trying to figure out how do we um, use dimensional analysis uh, correctly. Um, it's very simple to find out how many year, how many minutes are in a year simply by denoting how many hour how many minutes are in an hour um, which we know is to be now I'll actually write this down in the comments um, we know that an hour has 60 minutes and we know that a particular day has uh, 24 hours So I should actually make this singular, not uh, plural. And then we know how many days are in a year. Uh, so we'll create uh, something for a year, which is 365 days. We have our most important uh, variables written down in the comments. Notice that I didn't really um, write any code yet but I could have just used this opportunity to actually write the variables right off the top um, but there's an, an important aspect to programming uh, that we use for um, kind of breaking things down and analyzing analyzing how we're going to create this program and that's using pseudocode so pseudocode is a way for us to um, enter code or enter a va what a variable name will look like and then kind of explaining what it's actually going to do in uh, maybe it's not completely English maybe it's a mix of it's a hybrid between code and English um, but essentially it's to try to get you brainstorming kind of get you thinking so that we're not um, just sitting there trying to figure out exactly what the syntax is going to look like we we have an idea of what the variable is going to do, um, so we don't want to waste too much time on, on perfecting it just yet. So, but it's good that we went over this because we actually have our first variables uh, set up, and these are going to be constants. So I'm going to set these constants up as um, integers. So we have one for hour, we will have one for day, and we have one for year. Notice I didn't have any units attached to them because I don't really need them. Um, even though this is a dimensional analysis sort of program, uh, a, a problem, but it's uh, definitely not uh, needed here. Um, I'm going to document what I'm going to do with this code block. I am simply initializing, initializing, I'm sorry. Uh, constants for our day and year and then finally we're actually going to compute we're going to compute how many minutes there are in a year so total minutes uh, we can be a little bit more specific uh, for this. We can say total min year is going to be equal to hour times day times year. And we're actually going to output this total min year. And obviously we're going to use a variable and I'm going to have a little message here saying minutes per year. Okay, so let's run the code and see if it works. And at the bottom it says that there are 525,600 minutes per year, which is actually correct. Now notice that that uh, there is this way to do it. And then you can actually do it another way. 
um, depending on how picky you get with documentation, but you can essentially uh, turn total min year into just the very the numbers that uh, that we have. So we can just do sixty times twenty four times three sixty five, and then we can go ahead and print that out. So we'll use the same strategy here: uh, total min minutes per year. And you'll see that we'll have the exact same figure of 525,600 minutes per year. And this is just a matter of two lines, really, um, as opposed to the, the other stuff that we had. But but I, I prefer the, the, the uh, first method because you get to organize for someone who hasn't an idea of what 60 times 24 times 365 might mean, we can have this comment here, which is fine. Um, but sometimes uh, we actually want to change constants. So um, in this case, uh, that means 60 could mean 60 seconds in a year. I mean, 60 seconds in a minute. Um, it could also mean 60 minutes in an hour. So it's not exactly clear what the 60 really means in this program. All I know is that it's used in the computation of total min year. Um, but it's always good to get in the habit of, of trying to documenting everything so that you know exactly what's going on. Um, you know exactly um, um, where the constants and where the variables are initialized as. Um, so that you can keep track of your data as you create the program. So there you go. Um, it's a very simple program that calculates and prints the number of minutes in a year. If you have any questions, please send a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer.